Good morning. It is the third day of a week on Aldi. And I'm not sure how we're going to top yesterday. Yesterday was full of good food, but we'll see what we can do. Right, breakfast. It's becoming another staple of week ons. Bacon! Smoked back bacon. This is everyday essentials. This is their cheap offering. Any Aldi logo? Ooh, no. Right, so we've got that. We're also going to have one of those nice sweet brioche burger buns. I know it's technically not going to be a burger, but hopefully it's going to be lovely. And I don't have any ketchup because I didn't get any from Aldi. Oh well, let's get this in the oven. Basil! Hiya. Oh, it's smelling good. Oh, it's smelling good. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm going to wash it down with a nice glass of orange juice. Now, if that ain't just the perfect looking breakfast, I am very excited to try this. Mm. Mm. Oh my word, that is the best thing I've ever eaten. Apart from last night's dinner. This week on is going well. I've got grease all around my mouth. And I don't care. Ooh, nice orange juice. I prefer a smooth orange juice as opposed to a bitty orange juice. And that's nice, nice and orangey. Oh, obviously it's orange juice. Cup of tea time. And as is customary in Britain with any cup of tea, you have to have a biscuit. How about a Belmont butter biscuit with dark chocolate? Now these are just, uh, is it, are they called Leipzig biscuits yeah, or something like that? A uh, crunchy biscuit topped with smooth dark chocolate. Uh, what's that building? It looks like Buckingham Palace or something. I don't know. And do we have the, yeah, we've got the Aldi logo on there. So let's crack out one of these bad boys and enjoy. You know what? As far as dark chocolate goes, that's pretty nice. Butter X, brilliant. Hmm. I'm much, I think I'd prefer a, uh, a milk chocolate version, and I am getting chocolate everywhere. It looks like some sort of dirty protest, but that's pretty good. Is that Buckingham Palace? I don't know. Well, I've spent the morning doing some tinkering. I'm uh, trying to work on creating a website. I, it's not my forte, but you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting it done. Uh, and now I might reward myself with a bit of gaming. So, uh, yeah, it's going well. It's, good, it's a good morning. Very productive. Apart from the gaming bit, which is about to happen. I'm starting to get hungry as well. Cut to lunchtime. Nothing too fancy today, as you may recall if you've been keeping count. Still have two of these left. One following yesterday's dinner. Oh, yesterday's dinner. That was glorious. And one following today's breakfast. Oh, today's breakfast. That was glorious. Also, cheese. And also, the biggest multi-pack of crisps you've ever seen. Obviously, I'm not gonna have all 18 of these snack right snacks, which may or may not be similar to Walker's crisps. We have snack right monster claws, AKA monster munch. Snack right cheese puffs, AKA what's it's. And snack right bacon rashers. I don't actually think Walkers do bacon rashers, but um, they're a thing that exists, and all the branding is very similar to those brands. So we'll grab a packet of crisps as well, like a rebel, and uh, hopefully it's nice. Let's tuck in. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna go with the monster claws because I also want a cup shots for lunch. Make in minutes, less than 2% fat, and this is just basically a mug shots and it's yummy chicken pasta flavour and we know it's yummy because it says so. There's that logo. Right, gonna get the kettle on. There's my sandwich. Uh, there's my crisps. The trifecta of lunchtime greatness, hopefully. And we're done. I've probably put a little bit too much water in, but oh well, let's try it. Hmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's nowhere near as good as a mug shop. Oh, I mean, there's a vague chicken taste, but it's mainly just salt. 
Oh, it's super salty. Oh no, that's not good. Luckily, my cheese sandwich with a burger bun is pretty good. And these, let's try these. Hmm, slightly stale texture, but... Well, they do taste like beef. Hmm, very yin and yang lunch. I think it's time for some games. Don't you? Well, you probably don't, because I've not explained what I'm doing. But I've been writing a new book. Yeah, that's right. I'm always writing. You've just finished one long pro project. Now I'm doing another. Glutton for punishment. So I'm going to uh, reward myself now with some uh, absolutely awful times playing Fall Guys, because I just cannot win this game anymore. I've won six times. I've won six but that was like a week ago and I haven't won a single game since. I am truly a glutton for punishment because I can't stop going back. I'm like an abused ex. Keep going back for more. Just can't stop myself. You're not in your box today. Oh, tired cat. I can understand why you're so tired considering you've moved from there to there. Dinner this evening is one I'm quite looking forward to. Here's a pair of pies, hopefully not made by Mrs. Lovett. The first one, hand-finished chicken. How do you hand-finish a chicken? Actually, I don't want to know. Ham hock and leek pie. This one's mine, topped with butter-enriched puff pastry. Mmm. And secondly, British steak and Slater's ale Puff pastry topped pie, hand finished with nigella seeds. Ooh, again with the hand finished. Kinda sounds like someone's wanked over my pies. Right, what's going with it, you may ask. And finally, the camera focuses well. Mash, because mash has to go with pies. Look how smooth and creamy that looks. It's basically just a packet of cream, isn't it? Interesting. And then last, but uh, definitely least, is a bit of veg. Broccoli and cauliflower florets. We'll just boil those, you know, because whatever. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Don't want to get scurvy. Right, let's put the oven on. Wunderbar. Looking forward to this. Please be good. The mash is on. The pies are cooking. The veg is boiling. And then finally, we have a bit of gravy. So this is a regular ah, Bisto. Roast Britannia? I don't know, that's a strange pun. And here is the Aldi equivalent. Aldi meat quicks, quickso? Quickso, chef's choice. So this is a beef one, but either way, that's what we're gonna have. Looks a little bit like fish food. So, just waiting on that now. And here we go, two portions of pie and mash. One chicken, ham and leek, and one steak, was yeah, it? Yeah, steak. So, ooh, nice. Oh God, it's really crispy. Ooh, there's, uh, it's not super filled. How about yours? I don't know, I'm struggling to get in there. Ah, you've just Sorry. flinged pastry oh, everywhere. Know. it is super filled, mine. Hmm, okay. Just give it a quick try. Ooh. Hmm. This is That's good. Nuclear. It does. It's gonna need that though. Let's try the mash. Mmm. That's really nice. It's nice. I've got ale in it. You can taste the ale. Did you mind if I? Mmm. Let me go. Let's try it. You didn't get any of them. No, I didn't really. No. Tiny bit. Mm. Really good. It's nice, but mine's nicer. Mmm. And the mash is nice. Nice and creamy. Fluffy. Smooth. Ooh, chicken's really cooked well in there. Mm, it's nice, isn't it? Mm. Right, I'm going to make a well here for my gravy to go on. Then uh, I'm going to go and enjoy. Oh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Hello? Someone waiting by their food? Ooh, licking those chops, eh? So you're just loafing by your your bowl currently. Yeah, and I've got you something. Where have you gone? Come back. I've got you this. I've got you this. Come on. Come check it out. 
come see what it is. This basil is a Vitacat Select Tender Pate Rich in Turkey. Not the country, presumably. And this, as we can see, specifically produced for Aldi stores. It's not got the logo on it, but it's for Aldi. Right, let's somehow one-handedly get this out. So, where's he bloody gone? Come back! All right. There you go. You enjoy, young man. He's not sure. No? You're gonna... you gonna... No? Okay. Bye! Well, dinner was delicious. It was. And uh, now we're going to uh, indulge in a little bit of Fall Guys on Twitch. Which now includes a basil cam. Well, That's right. Exciting. Yeah. Nothing but basil. That's the only reason people come to this channel, so... Hopefully uh, people will go to Twitch too. Links below. Well, that was a fun stream. It's, uh, it's clear that Basil Cam went down well. Isn't it, Basil? Now he's going to... That little... I'm under no impression, illusion, that people watch my YouTube channel for anything other than Basil. They certainly don't come for my comedy stylings, do they? Oh, that's... Mm. Right, so... How did today go? Quite well. I mean, well, did it? Breakfast was bacon uh, sandwich, which I almost forgotten about. Bacon sandwich, very nice, of course, delicious. Could have probably done with a bit of ketchup, but you know, we'll live without that. Uh, then my lunch was um, interesting. Cheese sandwich, fine, nice. Crisps, very nice. Pasta, horrible, horrible, salty, chicken-esque sauce didn't enjoy that at all nah would not recommend um and then dinner was uh, something that i also can't remember pie i mean that was really nice the pastry was lovely nice and buttery absolutely bad for you hideously for bad for you but very very tasty and the mash was actually really nice and then the, the veg was veg see i i can all i can sense the um the questions uh, the comments that are going to come in on this week Mainly, oh, you do know that that Aldi just do you know regular food, regular f vegetables, regular meat, and it's like, well, yes, they do do all that, and it's very affordable, it's decent quality, but that's not interesting to show. I'm trying to show some of the more interesting products, and a pie is definitely interesting. The mug shots, definitely not, but um, it's still it's still a good week. It's still a great week. Nothing has so far beaten. That uh, that chicken, that was so good yesterday. That was so good. I, I'm tempted to crack that out again, to be honest. But we'll see. If you want to see how the rest of the week on does go down, and if I do succumb to the second chicken thigh, then please do subscribe to the channel. If you support the show on Patreon, you can watch the entire rest of the week on right now. Right bloody now. Or please do check out the Twitch channel where I play games and I uh, play Fall Guys today. I won twice. I won twice. Twice. It was exciting. So, yes, thank you very very much to everyone who does uh, tune into that. We have a laugh. We have a laugh. And the, the Basil cam has gone down well. So if you want to see Basil live in the flesh, in the fur, I suppose, links below. But thank you very much today for watching the third day of a week on Aldi. And I'm hoping tomorrow is better. Today wasn't awful, but it certainly was no day two, was it? Got to get back to those lofty standards. Let's see if we can do it tomorrow. See you then.